This episode is brought to you by Cole Haan, the footwear brand that celebrates extraordinary people who've transformed their passions into their careers. People like our boss, Alex Bloomberg, Gimlet's CEO and the host of Without Fail. It's the nerdiest thing, but when I'm like working on a story and then like just cutting that one piece of tape to make it work the way I want it to work, it still triggers this really satisfied part of my brain. And in those moments, I can't believe how lucky I am that this is like my job. To hear more of Gimlet's extraordinary hosts and conversation, go to extraordinariesonthemic.com. That's extraordinariesonthemic.com. Produced in partnership with Cole Hahn. A listener note. This show contains adult content and strong language. So Luis put that little sign up on the shop window, massages by magic hands, Dolores, under empanada loca. And then he's surprised when nobody comes, like it's not just some busted handwritten note on the back of a fucking menu anyway. But he sends Nelly down. I say, I'll do Nelly, why not? So she puts on some music from her phone, and she sits down on my bed, on Luis's dad's twin bed where the old man died. Oh my God, Dolores, you're crazy talented. Damn. But wait, I don't get like, if Tabitha had no hands, how could she teach her how to? Cause when I put my hands on her, she could tell exactly what muscle I was touching. And so she could talk me through it. I really needed this right now. Hmm? I had another fight with my grandmother this morning. Just, just more of the same shit. She's really gotta go to the doctor soon, but she won't leave the building. Anyway, you got this very calming thing about you, yourself. That's very sweet, honey, thank you. I'm gonna tell everybody I know to come down to Magic Hands Dolores under Empanada Loca. I'm gonna help you get some clients, Dee. And not even a couple of hours later. Hello? It's this, like, skinny, bald, hipster dude with a mustache. Nellie said it was 20 bucks for a half hour. Oh, are, are you the guy who just moved in across from her? Yes, indeed. Hmm, on the third floor, right? Third floor, yes, indeed. I'm Caleb Seltzer. Caleb S- Seltzer. Caleb Seltzer. I'm Dolores Roche. Roche? Like, like R-O-C-H-E? R-O-A-C-H. Oh, like Roche. <laughs> Used to be Rocha, but my pops was trying to Caucasianize himself. Poor schmuck. Oh. Still died broken drunk in a mouth full of his own vomit, so I don't know what good it did him. Oh, that's great. That really resonates with me. Oh, it resonates? <laughs> well, my novel, mm-hmm. it was originally called Joie de Vivre, but then my publisher said the title had to be in English. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, I know of what you speak. <laughs> like about the pressure to conform to the dominant cultural identity. And that conformity just like backfiring for everyone. I don't know if that's really the same thing, but okay. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, just on the on the bed here? Yeah, you know what? I happen to be in between massage tables today, so I got to use this little bed here, just for now. But it's really, it's unusually firm, if you want to know the truth, and the sheets are clean. Um, sure. What the hell? (laughs) And uh, you can undress to the level of your comfort. Okay. Um, hmm. And do you have any particular music you'd like to hear? Some clients prefer silence. Nah, I don't need music. Okay, good. That's great, because I'm actually in between CD players today, too, so... (laughs) Is that funny? I mean, aren't we all? (laughs) Aren't we... Are we? All? I I don't know. 
we don't have to talk during this, though, okay? I don't If mind. Ah. You... <sighs> uh -huh. Oh, my God. This is the first non-shitty surprise about this building since I moved in. A cheap masseuse in the basement. Where'd you move from? Oh, I've been in Hell's Kitchen since I came to New York in 05. Well, all my friends went out to Brooklyn or to Queens or, God forbid, Jersey. I've stayed in Manhattan, and I've been very proud of that. I love this island, but, ugh, I'm being priced out. <laughs> Rent spiked, incomes plummeted. So either move up here or leave the borough. Mm-hmm. So for you, this is slumming it, hmm? For me, this is a death. See, for me, this is a birth. This freckly back motherfucker is snobby as hell, but he's my first client I didn't already know who pays me real, actual United States currency. For me, this is a goddamn triumph. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. With Squarespace, you can create a beautiful website for just about anything. An event, a portfolio, an online store, or a blog. The other day, a few producers here at Gimlet got together to read from their blogs. And some of their posts went all the way back to high school. I started a blog when I, I guess I was like a sophomore. It's called, you call this a blog title? Question mark. Oh yeah, very, um, yeah. Very self-aware. Honestly, I couldn't think of a title and I thought it was clever. Okay, so the first post is titled, So Yeah. Hi, I kind of felt like starting a blog, so here it is. Don't really know what to write about, but I spent a lot of time designing it, so I felt I should probably post something. That's it. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's the end of it? Yeah. Were there any tags? <laughs> Uh, no, just posted by Max Gibson at 10.57 p.m. Ooh, Ooh up late. late night. On, yeah. <laughs> With Squarespace, you don't need to spend time designing, which leaves more time for blogging. Squarespace offers templates that allow you to change the look and feel of your site with just a few clicks. Sign up for a free trial at squarespace.com slash Gimlet. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code Gimlet to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm Josh Muccio, host of The Pitch from Gimlet, where real entrepreneurs pitch to real investors. In a recent episode, founder Susan Sirota tries to tap into Americans' obsession with their furry friends. We spend more on our dogs than our kids because there's a we don't have to make them responsible for adults. And so we question what we spend on ourselves, but then we spend $300 a week on a dog walker. Can she convince investors to bite? Find out in episode 52 of The Pitch, Fitbit for Dogs. Mmm. Mmm, wow, Luis. What the fuck am I eating? Shrimp scampi and banana. Holy shit. You are a mad genius, man. Well, I have the mm. best muse. Mmm. And what is this again? That's G13. It's a nice, strong indica with a green apple blunt rod. Mmm. You're so goddamn good to me. <laughs> okay, so he gave you 20 bucks, this writer, blogger, hipster person, and then he went back up to the third floor. Mm-hmm, yeah. So then I went next door to the laundromat to... <coughs> Oof. Excuse me. I went over to the laundromat to wash the sheets, right? Because if I'm having people on the bed... You know? And so I was talking to that Korean lady. I think she runs it. Joy? Yes, Joy. And she said that Nelly just been over there, and Nelly had already told her about me. So then Joy came down for half an hour, and she tipped me 50%, man. Hey, that's nice. I know. 
And then like an hour later, this guy with the T-Mobile shirt came down, and he said Joy told him to come while he was waiting for his clothes in the dryer. Oh, man, that's perfect. I know. And that's like 70 bucks cash I made today, like out of nowhere. I'm so fucking proud of you, Dolores. Mm, thanks, man. I mean, I don't... I don't want to get too comfortable just yet, though. Nah, you're not getting too comfortable. You're just starting to find your footing. And you deserve to be proud of yourself for that. Thanks, man. So listen, I want to give you a percentage of this what? going forward. Nah, 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 nah. Luis, I want to contribute. When you start making a thousand bucks an hour, then we could talk percentage. But for now, nah. You're still my guest. No strings attached. But Luis, you need the fucking money. What I need is not money. Giving that greedy motherfucker money just means he wins. And he is not winning this. But he will evict you. Over my dead body, is he getting your money? I'm not trying to give you money to be nice. I'm trying to give you money because I want to be able to stay here for a minute. But you could stay here forever, as far as I'm Luis, concerned. you're not hearing what Look, I'm... Okay, so he tries to evict me. So what? I'll go to court. That's what you want? You want to go to court? You notice how people leave dog shit in the middle of the sidewalk now? Back when you was here before, even as busted as it might have looked around here, the worst, most miserable asshole in the world would have still cleaned up his dog shit off the sidewalk. Now? Now we got all these entitled motherfuckers walking around. They, they see this as just a, a place to stay for a while. Not a home, you know? They got no history here. And they also fucking proud of themselves that they could coexist with us. And they can make everything look all pretty and comfortable, like as if they haven't just left their dog shit on the sidewalk to just get stepped in and stepped in till it gets so smeared, you can't even see it no more. But it's there. Oh, you better believe it's there. Under our feet, rubbing off on our shoes. We all walking in smeared dog shit, Dolores. And we're tracking it inside. Hmm. I have to watch out for that. Walking in shit, Dolores. Just walking in shit. It's gonna get harder and harder for me to keep pretending like it's not obvious he's into me. And he's saving my ass right now. I mean, thank God for Luis, you know? But like, the thing is, every time somebody comes down those stairs, I still hope it's gonna be Dominic. Every time. By the end of the week, I'm massaging like five or six people a day. It's crazy. A couple of Nelly's friends from school and then some more people from the laundromat because Joy's been talking me up. And I'm starting to feel like I have a purpose here because I get to help people again with my own two magic hands. Soon, I got enough saved up. I'm like, I'm going to do this up right, right? I walk over to that Target by Yankee Stadium. I buy myself this purple massage table. It folds up. It costs me like almost $300. And I buy some lotion, some oils, and some nice aromatherapy candles. They smell like coconut and shit. And you know what? I even spring for a cab back. You need some help carrying all that downstairs? No, no, I got it. Thank you, though. But wait, let me still give you... Here. What would I do without you, Mamita? Hey, Jeremiah, let me ask you something. It's true you sleep underground at night in the tunnels? I'm not trying to pry. I, why, I was just... why are you asking that? Honestly, I was just curious. And to, you know, I want to make sure you're safe down there. <laughs> Ain't no safer up here in the light of day. Huh. Okay, well, um... Oh, thanks, thanks. God bless you. Keep yourself safe. So I managed to get this boxed-up table and shit downstairs, and I'm down there setting up my space. I gotta move the bed off to the corner to make some more room for my new table. 
And then out my window, I see a pair of like shiny black men's dress shoes walk up. I think they're headed towards the shop. And I got this bad gut feeling. A white man with a dark beard and a yarmulke. He's got my menu sign from the window. He's waving it at Luis. Massages by Magic Hands Dolores. Do I even want to know what this is about? Hey, 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 this is my place of business, man. You cannot barge into my place of I own business. The building. I got every right to enter and my I own building. I have rights, too, that protects me against landlord harassment, and I have records, proof of you harassing me. I'm not harassing. You don't return my phone calls. You don't respond to mail. I just sat on the subway for 75 minutes to come see you in person. That's not harassment. That's effort. All I want to do is resolve this without having to escalate it. So I'm going to be very clear with you, Lewis. If you don't commit to this buyout by close of business on Monday, the eviction papers will be filed first thing Tuesday morning. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> well, except that you are, one way or another. Fuck you! Luis! Fuck me! You're not paying rent. You're clearly on drugs, and now you have this, uh, this, um, uh, massages by Magic Hands Dolores. Jesus. I'm a massage therapist. Oh, you're Dolores, huh? You're the hooker? Hey! I'm not a hooker. Well, look, sweetheart, I really don't care what you're putting in your body, but you can't do it here. You understand? Talk to her like that! I'm just a masseuse. She's not going anywhere either, man. My family's been here for over 35 years, and you can't just come yes. up here and... And for every one of those 35 years, this place has been cheap and dirty and dangerous. Wow! Lewis, I got people moving up here who have a different standard of living, and they're willing to pay a lot more money for it. So I've got a responsibility to those people to clean up hey, your... What people, man? The white people? Excuse me. I, look, I'm just trying to make a living. I'm trying to make a living. No, you're trying to have a living. You're trying to be given a living. You're not trying to make anything. I've worked every day of my life. I've stood on my own two feet and worked with my own two hands to feed other people. So if you want to keep shutting off the water, you want to keep calling the health department, it doesn't matter, man. We are not leaving. All right, fine. Fine, that's great. All right, then I'll see you in court. Be sure to get nice and stoned first, amigo. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, come back in a minute, please. <sighs> so, I'm... I don't even know your name. Mr. Perlman. Mr. Perlman. Okay, so I think we actually got a lot in common here, and everybody's a little worked up. The truth is, me giving massages here is really just in service of trying to get you your money. Dolores... And I gotta tell you... Just this past week, I already started doing a lot of business. All right, did you? Uh-huh, yeah, indeed. So if you're willing to have just a little bit more faith in us, I am ready to give you cash right now to cover this month. You have that much cash? I get paid in cash. Your wife is very impressive, Lewis. All right, Dolores, go get it. Well... Why don't you come downstairs with me, and that way no, we... No, no, thank you. I'll be right, right here. Honestly, though, I don't feel comfortable bringing that much cash up here with customers. I mean, it's a lot of cash. All right, fine. Beautiful. Come on. Uh, Mr. Perlman. You can call me Levi if you, uh... Uh, <laughs> um, Levi... Happy to have you here. Watch your step. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Building's gonna be the death of me. Don't be silly. People just have trouble talking to each other sometimes. That's why I want to wipe our slate clean. Tabula rasa, right? Right. Tabula rasa. I just gotta, um... <coughs> the, uh, th this is your table? Yes, indeed. It's a nice purple. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, six, <laughs> You know, six, I've eight, never had a massage in my life. Seven, eight, I mean, my, my ex-wife used to try once in a blue moon, but uh, I've never really had a, a real 20, one. 30, a real massage, I mean. You know, professional. 70, Although I really... Uh, I shouldn't really call you a professional. I mean, with the, the way that you're doing business here illegally, but... You know I'm the best, right? What? They don't call me Magic Hands for no reason. Uh, <laughs> no, I... I don't doubt that. 
don't, uh, I don't doubt that. Here's 525 for now. 525? Yeah. Ah, uh, Dolores, the apartment is 2700 a month. The retail space is 850. 850. 8, 8500 a month, sweetheart. Oh. <clears throat> Shit. So over 11 grand for both a month? For this? Just serious? You thought 525 was going to cover it? Well, not all of it, but... Well, at least this is a start? 525 is your start. Oh, it, it's just a stay of execution, Mr. Perlman, okay? <laughs> just a stay of execution. Oh, my God, my Please? God, my God. A stay of execution, huh? A stay means temporary. You know that. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you so much. Thank you for... Damn. Honey, your shoulder's like a rock. A rock? Your shoulder here. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I bought some weights recently, you know. I've been trying to use them more since my ex-wife has gone Not from so... muscle. Now, this is from tension. Oh. You got a big knot right here. Is this okay? My, my hands just started doing it. No, that, that feels... Great. It's it's good actually. Ow, yeah, ow, yeah. Ow, wow. Ow. How come you're so tense? You know, Jesus, alimony, <laughs> the MTA, inevitable nuclear war. Yeah, well, <laughs> all that stress is manifesting right around here. You feel that? Ow. Oof. Yes, I feel that. Jeez. Here, you don't have to lie down. Just sit up on the edge of my table. Uh, really? Yes, indeed. On the house. Well, I guess that's... Uh... I'll tell you a secret. This right here is actually a brand new table. So you get to be the inaugural. You get to be her very first. What is that? What's that, incense? It's just a candle, honey. It smells like coconut. <coughs> <coughs> Damn, you got this big knot. Wow, this is a knot. Wow. Listen, lift up your shirt. Let me get to this. So he unbuttons the top of his shirt. He starts to lift it up. I just take it off from the rest of the way. He doesn't stop me. And I'm working on his back. He's hairy and pale. He's got a couple of big ass moles he should probably get checked out. Listen, um, I should, uh, oh. It's not that I have anything against you or your husband personally. I mean, sincerely, I'm not a racist. I feel completely apathetic toward you, to be frank. But I do believe in capitalism. If fighting for yourself, fighting to do well for your family, if that means someone else has to do less well for himself, okay, and is, uh, then that's not personal. It's just, it's Darwin. That is survival of the fittest. So one of us, ultimately, is not gonna get what he wants. Shh, you don't have to explain yourself. No, I, I want you to know this. Because you seem like a smart girl. You'll land on your feet. Lie down, Mr. Perlman. And he does on his stomach. And I'm working on his neck and down his back to his pale little love handles. And I yank on his belt. Should I do your hamstrings, too? Oh. And he undoes his belt. And I bring his pants down to his knees. Fucking old man, tidy whities And I'm working on the backs of his legs. His veiny fucking thighs. And he's adjusting his crotch. So, uh... When do we get to find out what those magic hands really do? Motherfucker thinks he's here to get a hand job. Just relax, honey. Oh, jeez. Oh. And I'm working up his back. He's loosened up a lot. His breathing's slowing down, and I'm working on the base of his head. And I can feel him decide to trust me, even though he's the predator here, not me. But he got comfortable, hmm? He let himself be almost naked on my table, totally fucking vulnerable, literally in my hand. 
things. Talking about survival of the fittest. Survival of the fucking fittest. Like it's a dare. What a fool. Because I could crack his neck like this. I could. Tabitha said, you got to break the C2 or the C1 to kill somebody. She said it's very hard to do. It's not like on TV, but she sure did it. And I believe that was self-defense. I believe her because Tabitha's not a bad person. She really took care of me. I sort of loved her for a while. And I love my mom, too. My mom had to kill somebody when she was on duty when I was seven, some piece of shit who broke into an apartment where there were kids. My mom was innocent. She was protecting the kids. I wish I, wish I could ask my dad exactly what happened. Motherfuckers asleep. I'm looking down at what my hands are doing, like an out-of-body experience in slow motion. My right hand on his chin and my left hand on his left shoulder blade. And I yank his head back. So I fucking hurl myself up on my table. On top of his ass, I grab his neck from behind. I'm digging my fingers into the front of his neck, trying to find the jugular from this angle. Not just the breathing, because choking is the breathing, but strangulation is blood flow to the brain. And that's faster. And he's trying to push me off him. I got to push my forehead into the back of his head to keep him down, and my fingers are numb. I'm just digging the fuck in, and he's still wiggling and shit. Like, he thinks he's going to win this. Like, he thinks he can fling me off this table. God damn it, I never had a shot. But I will be the last one in this room. I got my ankles clamped under this fucking table and my thumbs are white. This is, this is what they mean by white knuckle. I never realized that before. And then, and then I roll him over. He's heavier than he looks, but and I pull his eyes shut, and he's got a boner. I swear, like, all the blood just rushed there. And it smells so nice in here. I almost want to light another candle, but I, I don't want to be too indulgent, you know, because I just bought them. Where'd he go? He... I said I would work on his back. I was just trying to be nice to him, but, like, he grabbed my hand, and he was trying to make me give him a hand job and shit, so I... It was an accident. You did this for me? I... What? The G13 green apple combo. I'm good. I love you too, Dolores. I always have. I've been waiting for you this whole time. Um, I just killed somebody, Luis. Why don't you go run things upstairs for a minute? I just strangled the landlord. I don't want to fucking sell empanadas. Listen to me, mommy. I I will take care of this. You take care of this? Yeah. How? Fuck if I know. But you just got out of prison. You don't need to be anywhere near it. You under my roof. I will figure this shit out. Okay? It was an accident. Fuck the shop. I gotta get out of here. Help me get something. I can't right now, Jeremiah. I gotta go somewhere, somewhere. Down to the subway. I hop the turnstiles. Nobody gives a shit. (laughs) 
I haven't been on the subway in a long ass time. It's sort of comforting, actually. There's all these people, but nobody's looking at each other. Nobody's looking at me. Like, I feel very not alone down here, but I still have total privacy. Why don't I feel guilty right now? Like, what's wrong with me as a person? Because the truth is, I feel like, like this is where I live now. I did what I had to do. And you know what? I, I don't want to still be at Bedford Hills with Tabitha. I don't even really want to be in that fifth floor walk up with Dominic selling shitty weed to college kids. I want to be giving massages and eating empanadas and getting stoned with Luis. And I don't feel guilty for wanting that. It feels good to know what I want. It feels good to be in fucking control for once. So I ride back uptown. It's dark out by now. Jeremiah's gone. Maybe we cross paths underground. My menu signs taped back up on the window, and Nellie's working. She doesn't look like she has any idea what happened. Hey, Dee. And Luis is in the kitchen. He's kneading the shit out of this huge bowl of dough. And the only thing on my table is that cash I gave him. 525, no sign of anybody or anything else at all. So I take a couple of hits off of that green apple blunt, or I think maybe it's actually lime, and I take a shower in my private bathroom, stone in my shower. I could barely stand, I'm so relaxed. And then I light another coconut candle and I sleep like a fucking baby. The Horror of Dolores Roach, created by Aaron Mark, with Daphne Rubin Vega, Bobby Cannavale, Keita Updike, Michael Yuri, John Douglas Thompson, Richard Kind, and Jasmine Romero. Written and directed by Aaron Mark. Executive produced by Mimi O'Donnell. Produced by Katie Pastor, Matthew Boll, and Daphne Rubin Vega. Associate produced by M.R. Daniel. Sound design by Haley Shaw. Foley recording by Nico Osborne. Mixed by Matthew Boll. Score by Allison Layton Brown. The Horror of Dolores Roach is a production of Gimlet Media. Thanks to our sponsor, Squarespace. To build your next website in minutes, go to squarespace.com slash Gimlet for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code Gimlet to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.